In the last presentation, we have understood how to update list items in Python. Now, in this presentation, we will understand how to remove list items. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is remove an item using the remove method. The second topic is remove an item using the pop method. The third topic is remove an item using the del keyword. And the fourth topic is clear the list using the clear method. Let's start with the first topic that is remove an item using the remove method. Remove method removes the specified item. So, if we pass an item to this remove method, it will remove that item from the list. For example, let's open the command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. Now, let's type this command li equal to john mike david let's say we have this list which consists of three items john mike and david let's say we want to remove this item john from this list we can pass this item to remove method in order to remove this item from this list so let's hit enter and type li dot remove john with this we would be able to remove john from this list in order to check this, let's hit enter and type li and again hit enter. We will get this list where John is not available. So, I hope with this it is clear how to remove an item using the remove method. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is remove an item using the pop method. The pop method is used to remove an item at the specified index. So, in place of passing the item, we can pass the index of that item to the pop method in order to remove that item. For example, we will consider the same list with three items John, Mike and David. Now, let's say we want to remove this item Mike from this list. We know that the index of this item is 1. So, we just need to pass the index of this item to this pop method. We can do this by typing li.pop1. With this, we can remove this item from this list. But there is one interesting thing that will happen. As soon as we hit enter, we will get Mike as the result. Why are we getting Mike here? Because pop method not only removes the item, but it also returns the deleted item. So, we can use that later in our code. We can store this item in some variable and we can use this item in our code if we want to. So, pop method not only deletes an item, it also returns the deleted item. So, whenever you want to use the deleted item in your code, use the pop method. Otherwise, you can use the remove method. So, this is the difference between remove method and pop method. Now, let's check whether this item is deleted from this list or not. For this, we will type li and we will hit enter. We will get John and David in the list. But we do not have Mike in this list. Now, there is one more interesting point I would like to mention. If the index of the item is not specified, then the last item will be deleted. So, let's say that we won't pass any index to this pop method. In that case, the pop method will remove the last item of the list. In this example, David will be deleted from the list. So, this is how pop method works. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is remove an item using the del keyword. Del keyword can also be used to remove an item at the specified index. So, it removes an item at the specified index. For example, let's open our command prompt again. Let's consider the same example list. Now, this time we are interested in deleting the first item of this list using the del keyword. So, we just need to type del li within brackets 0. We need to specify the index of the item which we want to delete. And the first thing that we need to type is del. So, now let's hit enter and type li to check whether the list is updated or not. Let's hit enter again. We will get this list where John is not available. So, with this we have learned how to remove an item using the del keyword. Not only that, del keyword is also useful in removing the complete list. So, we can remove the entire list also with the del keyword. How? Let's open our command prompt again. Let's say we want to delete this entire list. So, we can type del li. That's it. 
So we just have to specify the name of the list. After hitting enter, our list is deleted. Let's type li to check whether the list is deleted or not. As soon as we hit enter, we will get name error from the interpreter, which says name li is not defined. This clearly indicates that li does not exist and this means that the list is completely deleted. So, del keyword is useful when we want to delete the entire list. Now, let's move on to the next topic that is clear the list using the clear method. Let's say that the requirement is to not delete the entire list but to clear the list or empty the list. Then we can use the clear method for this purpose. So, clear method can empty the list. For example, let's open our command prompt again. We will consider the same list and now let's say we want to empty this list. Then we can type li.clear. Now let's hit enter and type li and then again let's hit enter. We will get an empty list. We will not get error this time because the list is not completely deleted. We still have the list but this time the list is empty. So clear method is used to remove the items of the list. It will not remove the entire list. So this is the difference between del and clear. So I hope with this the concept of clear method is also clear. We are done with all the topics of this presentation. We have learned how to remove an item using the remove method. We have learned how to remove an item using the pop method. We have seen the difference between the two. The difference lies in the fact that pop method not only deletes an item but it also returns the deleted item. On the other hand, remove method just removes the item from the list. We have learned how to remove an item using the del keyword also. If you want to delete the entire list, then del keyword is useful. And we have also learned how to clear the list or empty the list using the clear method. So with this, I hope the concepts of this presentation is completely clear. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.